and hitboxes of his own. And one thing that I see Teapot do all the time is that oh. power dive. Which, uh, never mind. Okay, so we're not going to be seeing uh, Palu versus Terry. Instead, it's going to be Ike. Ike, Masher 9. See if we can get oh, that nair up air wind condition. Yeah, yeah, the window is much stricter than it used to be, but it does still exist. So, you gotta be careful. Still confirm. Oh, wait, didn't. Got right out of that B. Alright, so both players are filling each other out here in neutral, throwing some power waves to catch something. Okay, I'm liking the sport of spacing approach that Hydra has been doing. Not trying to go in and commit, go too deep. Instead, just throwing out these moves. Oh, but Teapot is tricky. That power dunk, just on top of having a huge hitbox, when you do it at the right height, I believe it auto cancels and it is minus, it is like plus mm. on shield or close to it. Hydra being the, the best wall that they can with this Nair, confirming off of it every time it connects. Oh, like so. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Some Ikes, you know, they'll basically be playing the game, and then when they get to those percents where Nair up air will connect for the kill, then they start, you know, mashing Nair. But Hydra's been playing, mm. doing Nair the entire time. So if you're unfamiliar with what percent you're actually going to die from Nair up air, then how could you possibly know that you're actually in range? Having strong desserts against a, char a, a character like Terry, it's good to have, especially in their approach. It's mostly ground base. Yeah. Just jump there and be a wall. That Nair confirms off of it. A good situation the edge guard and they do oh. it they just do now, it you were saying how oh if you're playing palatina you need to kill terry before go percent if you really if that's something you really hate dealing with mm -hmm. then i mean here we see playing ike and then just getting damage and then killing with the kill confirm the you same know, for you uh, terry's character. never getting to 100 if he gets hit by nair up air every time yeah. or off stage you know hit with a down air diet you know negative two percent <laughs> It's very good to bring a sword to a to a, a fist fight. <laughs> I'd say, especially in a game like this, where characters who depend on the close range matchup. That was honestly, I love that answer. Where you know, like I was saying, that power dunk at that uh, the power Ooh. dive, power dunk, whatever the yeah. uh, the uppy downy move. <laughs> uh, it's almost near. It's very hard to punish, but. Ike up B is actually a very solid answer to it. If he sees him just going for it, just, okay. You know, just hit up B out of shield. Yeah. And if anything, that Nair is also a nice little problem solver to most of the neutral in this matchup. As it's been getting Hydra all these hits and these kills. All right. We now do have, for the first time so far this set, mm. Teapot yeah, having yeah. access to his go moves. Let's see if he's actually going to be able to use them or whether he's just going to get hit by that up B and go and die from across the stage. Yeah, that was a very strong move. No sympathy. Showing no sympathy there by just being a wall, a solid wall throughout the whole game one. It was very rough for Teapot to approach and deal with trying to build a game plan when the character is just struggling just to get a good solid hidden yeah I, I will say it did feel like teapot at times was able to be like okay i'm gonna run in and shield and now the nair is no longer well spaced or i'm just outside of the range now i'm gonna go for side b it felt like he did actually find openings in uh hydra's game plan however when it's like if you're going even in neutral exchanges against ike you're gonna end up way behind <laughs> You know, if you manage to shield something and get a neutral air and maybe another move out of it, cool. But when you get hit by a neutral air and you eat like 40, 50% or get hit by neutral air and just die, it's you, you can't just be going even. Or if at the very least, you need to be really maximizing your punishes. And I think maybe that's the biggest adjustment that Teapot needs to make. Just when he hits him, really, really take him for a ride. Because Ike is not a character who's that great at getting people off of him. True, true. They do have some options, but and like a good escape tool at that side B maybe. But 
it'd be very rough for either character to deal with like the other if they if they get in so it's just ike is more like good like better like with the air approaches with that nair as terry terry has to do something just to catch him out of it like maybe like a crack shoot or a forward air like <laughs> if you if you don't have a sword to bring to the sword fight <laughs> Like I mean, make Terry up sword still, I don't know. <laughs> he does still have decently fast aerials and fast yeah. moves. And, you know, Nair is, A, it's not lagless. I mean, it's very low lag. But if it whiffs, it is punishable. And then on top of that, you can pay attention to what Hydra is doing after the neutral air. You know, because he is going to pick an option after he neutral airs in neutral. So if you can start picking up on that habit, is he just going to jump without throwing an aerial? Is he... You know, once you sort of encroach on it, is he shielding? So this is something that if you're teapot, you really need to start paying attention to. Oh. There's his way out of the situation. That's a punish hard here. Okay, good. Let's get some, some good damage here. The chase from the chase is on. Yeah, I like this. Staying on top of him, not giving Hydra the chance to refine his ground and set up more of that nair wall. And once again, punishing the whiffs. <gasps> oh, but that could be. All right. Manages to not get punished for that. Up B Ooh, into to... nowhere, but. Good DI there from Teapot to survive there, but. Very dangerous game they're playing. Okay, so they're doing a good job of approaching with these crash shoots, but they got caught once with that back air. Now Hydra is up with stock. Alright, so... Whatever adjustments they made in the last game are, is working. As they're, they're making it a lot more even here. This is a matter of repositioning yourself so you don't get caught in the, in the Nair wave that uh, Hydra is going for here. It's good patience. It's good patience with them. Small little neutral exchange here. Hydra coming out on top because of the disjoints. Oh, nice catch to the power dunk. If we can count on T-Pop for one thing, it's placing the power dunks super well. Also, shouts to Datagram for redeeming that, coup that match arena coupon, guys. Keep it up. Yeah! <laughs> I really like the, the, the saw right there. That um, Hydra starting to mix up the timings of the neutral air. Oh, no. Just a little bit. And now those whiff punishes that uh, T-Pop is starting to you know, was getting, are now just hitting too early. It's not safe on shield. Especially from Ike's range. Oh, okay. Beautiful That's... space on that recovery. We've already seen how that upbe can be seriously punished. So, it seems that perhaps Teapot has adjusted in a way. If he's able to more reliably make it back to stage, that is a huge part of the game that might be able to swing into his favor then. Traveling with these power, uh, these power ways in order to make an approach here. Oh, they were doing such a good job of staying outside the range, but Hydra just stood there that one time and just happened to catch him. Oh no, that whips out of shit. Oh, that's really bad. This is a bad spot here for Teapot. Teapot has a lot of work to do. Especially to take the stock off. This is like last game situation. Almost getting spiked getting, off stage. Yeah, getting hit by that up B. And now 75% on the teapot. Once again, though, actually reversing the situation with the nice hitbox on the upbeat. I don't know how reliably he can uh, Ooh, count on that, there. though. Very solid read there from teapot to see if they can bring it back. Maybe build up a little bit go in order to make this more threatening. Oh, okay. They're getting away with a lot of these uh, with upbeats, too. So, see, on Hydra's part, just to not make mistakes in their punishes. That was a good read there from teapot. What a trade on the power wave. Oh, that oh. probably, I think that should have connected to the back air. Finally getting a parry. We haven't really seen a lot of that, but. The in the back air. I mean, it'd be nice to see more parries. I think that that could possibly be a good answer to the uh, the neutral air wall that's being slapped down in front Oof. of Teapot. But you have to be consistent, especially at those percents where neutral air can actually lead into a kill. Yeah, with punishing this, uh, yeah, that side with, with Terry's speed, he wasn't quite able to just get there naturally. I think he was hoping to perhaps connect with the latest part of that side B, but whiffing it meant that he was that you know his combo so turned around on him. <laughs> Your boat failed in the end and got you killed.
Hate to see it happen. I respect why Teapot went for it, though, because it worked before in a previous stock, but Hydra's doing a really good job at adapting to that situation. Not like being a super obvious wall with the, with the Nair, but just doing it late enough just to catch Teapot's approaches. And yeah, confirming like, off them I when like you can. I like the idea with that, that up, yeah, I think he's trying to punish a lower recovery. Mm. But, ooh, for now, this is a solid lead for Teapot. I think this might be the biggest lead we've seen him get so far. But, oh, if he's not careful, it doesn't matter how good the lead is. We've already seen that. The really low percent skills. Ooh, to chase him. Load. A lot of these the crash shoots. dashing back afterwards. That might not necessarily be, you know, a true habit, but something that Teapot maybe should be paying attention to is those panic options once he comes in towards him. Dash Five. is not going to take that stock. He's yeah. so strong. And I, if Teapot manages to take this game, I think that's the first, at least in top eight, the first game that Hydro would be dropped. Oh, gets hit, but the hit confirm loses Go immediately. I was going to mention it's a scary thing for Terry to have Go as his burst range gets a lot more scarier as he can now do a, a, a good move that is like 50% or kill you in the right yeah. timing and moment. Not only that, but he also, when he has Go, the moves are incredibly strong and he has rage by default. So. Oh! Kicked him right out of his life, but stock's not gone yet. Oh, getting clipped by that Ike up B. The hitbox on that is massive. And, oh, that could have been a massive turnaround because Hydra, it seemed mm. like he was already going to die pretty soon. But, ah, he's able to actually clean off the stock there. Teapot only at 67%. This is the, a really hefty lead he's got. Let's see if he's able to actually maintain it or whether it's going to evaporate like the last one we saw. Nair side B. A little confirms off the, off the platform pressure. They have to watch out these, for these nares. Especially the ones that are going to kill them. That was good good spacing there from Hydra. I got to get this kill yet. We're very close, very close. Now it is in That's... fact go time. So yeah, ooh, there's look at all the damage from that. Woo! If you would have spiked them, that would have been ridiculous. Oh, no, no more punish. Right, that should be it, though. Yeah, all the way from across up the beat. stage. Upbeat doing a massive, massive work there. But now, it's, <laughs> Hydra's going to have to put in a lot more work in order to actually come back in this game here. This might be the start to it. Actually punishing the Upbeat. We've seen Teapot get away with doing that quite a bit. But be connects. Yeah. Good stuff there to Teapot to bring that all the way back. Let's see. That's some good adaptation right there. <laughs> Teapot simply playing around their range and getting their hits when they counted. Just really putting the pressure on to, to Hydra. As Hydra, those last three stocks, wasn't able to handle Teapot's aggressive approaches there. Throwing, throwing themselves at them with those power dunks. Come out there, like come right in there with those side Bs just to position themselves like right in there. Yeah, like I think think about the fact, like I remember when game one, Teapot really struggling. It felt like he was getting hit by every single neutral air, and now he's just barely outspacing them and whiff punishing or just running up and shielding them. It's it really really feels like he adapted to that game plan, and it's something that. I just really gonna have to adjust. Otherwise, you're just gonna get a repeat of that game three for the next two games. Oh yeah. That's what we want. Wow, that's crazy. That was like the first game apparently that Hydra dropped this whole tournament. So <laughs> I guess it's up to Teapot to make sure this guy loses today, unless Hydra's gonna run away with this for free. Oh, like this, like this, like now so. I'm going to call that multi-game conditioning. <laughs> Early on, Hydra was really getting hit by that up B. And I think that made that uh, Teapot was a little bit too eager to go for it a little bit higher. And that time just jumps right above it and smacks Ooh. him down with the down air. That's a lot of package drops there from Teapot's end, I'm, I'm assuming. That's a lot. What is going on, y'all? We lost connections today. Who's on the Are we next? We're going to get another game <laughs> like, like DQ for the set. 
Oh, no. No, it seems like they're going back to playing it. Okay. Okay. Back to normal. Just trying to ride out the Wi Fi. Yeah, it's still going up. Okay, it's looking like it's normal now, so it should should be fine for the finish up the save. Hydra looking quite clean enough to take this next game here. They're up a stock, they're up two games. And they get a clean up there to kill at 87. This is a strong lead that Teapot has to work super hard to get back. Yeah, this is just oh so oh they amazing. tried it they tried it <laughs> he wanted to go for the suicide kill and i mean at yeah. this point absolutely i think that's a that is a perfectly reasonable call to make so oh i really like that so he phantom he got the phantom footstool which oh. meant that he did not have to expend his jump so then he jumped again to delay his landing and that actually let him get the neutral air oh man there. this is just looking absolutely brutal for teapot can he even get out. out of the corner one last time oh, even with the berry he's not able to oh that was good that was really good all right let's see if maybe you know that is the first stomach. oh he is at go oh, percent go. so there's let's see how he managed to keep his composure here should be punishable, but oh no, too far away. Terry not quite quick enough to get there in time. This is good damage. The next two hits would, could probably set up a kill here for Teapot. They have to take advantage of all the go meters that they have right now. Oh! Oh, no punish there from, from uh, Hydra. Kind of find a chance to get in. There's a good parry. These nares could lead Hydra to victory here. Oh, oh, armor's so right through it! Far. That's something we ah. haven't seen at all yet. So, okay. it, I mean, like that, that's like a, you know, a last ditch answer. He's probably been holding oh, on to using that go meter. Or and that's going to be a stock, not quite. Just barely oh. living right there. But, oh, no. Okay, actually punishing Oh, the that. power dunk. Teapot has not been touched in so oh, long. Teapot. Actually able to get oh. this, oh, him to death percent. The rising tag was kill. Do it. Nice, nice. Okay. Last sock situation. Teapot with go with rage. Oh. Let's see if he's able to continue go with this. this. He didn't get up behind him. This is insane. If Teapot makes this comeback, probably be the most insane thing I've seen in this Wi-Fi tournament. Dash attack is gonna seal that one though. Yeah, Teapot oh. had been using the uh, the side B a lot to get out of the corner, and. Picking up on that habit, Hydra punished exactly when he needed to. It was looking like it was going to be scary for him, but yeah, it just holds in, really doesn't get too flustered, and then, yep, there it was. Dash so attack, going to just reacts to it and punishes. Nothing, nothing beyond it. Oh, man, what a set. Almost brought an insane comeback there, Teapot strong player you guys want to donate more to that match arena in order to secure the bag for them as we'd love to see them again <laughs> here in grand finals <laughs> as like their second chance <laughs> in order to get paid today